Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Geo Groups 16.11 Outlook. Uh, my name is Sampath Ranasinghe. I'm the product manager for the group. So let's get started with the first item on the list for this milestone. Uh, we continue working on uh, Unified Backups MVC. Um, we've made really good progress over the last milestone uh, on this uh, on this feature. Uh, but um, and and we can we we're looking to to make further progress in this milestone. A little bit about uh, unified backup today. We have different solutions, different tools for different installations types of GitLab. This makes the backup story and the backup experience very complex for our customers. The effort with unified backups is to consolidate all of that, uh, all of the backup. Uh, functionality under a single tool that can serve all of these different installation types. So that's a Linux package, Docker, Cloud Native Hybrid, and, and GDK as well, and, and source. Um, we, we, we start uh, small by building uh, uh, just, a, just a single single CLI that, that works across uh, all of these ins installation types, providing a consistent experience across, across the installations. Um, over time, uh, we'll uh, we'll enhance the capabilities uh, building on top of uh, on top of the MVC. The MVC focuses on uh, addressing the backup needs of uh, Linux package, Docker, and, and, and GDK to start with. Um, subsequent iterations, we will be adding Cloud Native Hybrid uh, to to the list. Um, the The goal is to build uh, a backup solution that is scalable and is able to meet the demands of our customers, uh, in particular customers who have very large data sets and who run um, our large reference architectures. Um, the the long-term vision uh, is, is, is defined in the next generation uh, scalable backup epic. Um, you are welcome to, to go read more into, into the uh, overall direction and, and some of the features that we will be building on as we iteratively evolve uh, this uh, the unified backup. Next up is uh, the high level design for um, cell, the cell mover. Um, so as we make progress on uh, building our next gen architecture, uh, which we call cells for our .com infrastructure. Uh, we need to be able to move organizations between uh, individual cells, but also we need to be able to move organizations from the, the what we call the primary cell, the gitlab.com monolith to, to the, the secondary cells. Uh, and, and we need a way to do that without being uh, too disruptive to our customers uh, as we as we migrate them. So the cell movers uh, primary purpose is to be able to move individual organizations uh, across uh, initially from the gitlab.com monolith to secondary cells, but ultimately to be able to move organizations between between cells. And this will help us um, rebalance uh, cells, uh, so moving organizations from a cell that is uh, approaching its, its capacity um, um, to give us give us more headroom uh, and and perform various types of maintenance on on, on cells as well. So that was uh, that's uh, the cell mover uh, MVC. Uh, next, uh, we as as we uh, near the uh, near the end of the MVC for unified backups, we look look forward look ahead rather to the next iteration. Uh, we are conducting a couple of research spikes in order to understand what is needed uh, to, to support, uh, for example, uh, object storage um, and, uh, and cloud native hybrid architectures. And we're focusing this effort on GCP initially. Uh, we've chosen GCP as the uh, first um, cloud hosted solution to support for various uh, different reasons. We, there are a lot of uh, self-managed customers on there, but there, are also, there is also an internal customer demand at that GitLab for, for, the, uh, for supporting GCP. And then there's another uh, investigation to see, understand what we need uh, to support uh, Kubernetes uh, and, and large reference architectures. So uh, both of these uh, research spikes will feed into our next iteration of unified backups that will uh, we will look to be delivering 
um, or adding uh, support for cloud native hybrid architectures. Next is uh, adding. Um, we we uh, next is a very much a geo focused feature in, in this instance. Um, adding get support uh, for deploying uh, geo with unified URL on on cloud native hybrid architectures. We added support for cloud uh, for support for unified URLs on cloud native architectures a couple of milestones ago. Um, and, and this effort uh, driven by Nick is to uh, enhance the GitLab environment toolkit um, um, that is used to deploy, assist with deploying um, scaled self-managed GitLab instances um, to, to all extend that to support unified URLs as, as well. So this will enable customers to stand up GitLab uh, geo instances uh, with, uh, with unified, unified backups, uh, unified um, URLs rather, uh, using the environment toolkit. And then we have um, an effort to just level up our, our documentation. Uh, we've been working on, on a lot of feature work and uh, we, we are falling a little bit behind on, on documentation. And we've got, uh, we've got a number of initiatives to, to you know, level up our, our documentation uh, over the upcoming uh, milestones. And for that, we also have uh, uh, support from Axel, who's our um, uh, tech writer uh, for the group, um, to, to help us with this effort. And then finally, we have a, have a number of bugs uh, that, that we'd like to, to address in the, in the 1611 a milestone that are uh, to, to wrap things up. Uh, thank you for watching um, and I look forward to seeing you next time.